Hello everybody and welcome back to Miami Total Football. We're at Drive Pink Stadium on Sunday night after Inter Miami's 3-2 home loss and season opening loss to the LA Galaxy. Well, we've talked about the game in another video. We're going to talk about some news that Don Garber shared with us on the media side today at halftime of the match. He gave an update on the Blaze Matuidi investigation. And he didn't want to go into too many details. He refrained from doing so. He was asked multiple times and he said, I'm not going to comment any further. But before he did that, he did provide an update. And he said that there will be news in regards to the investigation this week and that MLS will announce its findings this week. And he used the word transparency. He used the word transparent, that there will be transparency in revealing what was found and what happened. He also said that MLS wants to defend the integrity that it has in its roster rules and regulations and that there will be sanctions for Inter Miami. So that's not necessarily good news for Inter Miami because the hammer could come down pretty hard. Now, this is not any information I have heard. This is just what my opinion is as of today, as things stand now. And I think Inter Miami could be handed with an international transfer ban for one transfer window, for two transfer windows potentially, which would make a full year worth of transfer bans. That's something you have seen in other leagues across the world. Obviously, MLS is a bit different in the way things are run, but I think that could be a possibility here. Again, that's just my opinion, just what I think could happen. I think a monetary fine is absolutely going to happen. I think it's a safe bet that Inter Miami will have to pay some sort of fine, but I think there could also be an international transfer ban in addition to maybe a lost draft pick or two. I don't think they'll get a complete transfer ban. I think maybe Inter Miami will still be able to sign players within the league and make trades because at the end of the day, MLS knows that Inter Miami is one of its most recognizable teams domestically and internationally. So I don't think they'll take away a DP slot. I don't think they'll go to that extreme because not only does that hurt a team that draws, that brings MLS so much attention, but you'd also hurt a player who maybe had nothing to do with this situation. So I do think though that they could have an international transfer ban in addition to maybe some other fines or other punishments. But what do you think? Are you guys worried about what MLS might reveal this week? Are you nervous about it? Or do you think it's not a big deal and MLS won't come down pretty hard with the hammer? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Franco Panizo of Miami Total Football, and we'll see you guys here again soon.